I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this CCNA and CSENT 5-minute practice exam. Today's exam is going to be primarily on frame relay. I usually mix the topics up a bit, but frame is so important that we are going to be spending a little extra time with that today. While you look at some links to some study materials for your NA, NP, Server 2008, and Network Plus 2009 studies, just want to give you a quick format here. We're going to go through five practice exam questions fairly quickly, so if you need to pause the the video for a moment or two and think about your answer that's fine and then once we go through the five questions we'll go back through them and as often as we can on live Cisco routers and switches we'll look at the answers and explanations so I'm not just going to give you the answer we're going to look at it on the live equipment and we'll start with this one what are the three available LMI types in frame relay what are those give me two commands that can verify what LMI type a router is running? Go on to the third question. Scroll down a bit for this one. Which of these describes the DELSI and IP address that you should use in the frame relay map command when you're mapping to a remote destination? Do you want the local or remote DELSI and the local or remote IP? So question four. Which of these frame relay map command values are optional? And we'll go on to the fifth question in just a moment and take a look at the answers. What's the meaning of the frame relay DE bit? Not just what it stands for, but which kind of explains what it does, but what's the meaning of it? Why would that be set or not set? And what are the values of that variable? What are the possible values? Let's go back starting with question one. What are the three available LMI types in Frame Relay? I'm going to bring up a live pod here that's already running Frame Relay. And to illustrate this answer, we're going to go out to the serial interface that's running it and give you a little extra information here. We actually configure that with the Frame Relay LMI type command. And the three choices, as you can see, are Cisco, ANSI, and Q933A. So I'll jump out of there without completing the command because then for question two we need two commands that will verify the LMI type that a router is running. And we're going to first off run the show frame LMI command and this gives you some help, uh, helpful information as far as the number of inquiries sent and received, whether the timeouts are incrementing, which is never good, and it'll also show you what LMI type you're running and there it's running the default of Cisco. You can also run the show interface command for that particular interface and it's going to give you that information right here. It's going to give you the inquiries information and also what LMI type you're running. You can also look at your starting uh, in your running configuration as well and your config will actually show you that if you have saved it and if you're looking at the right config. But those are the two that I like to use uh, especially for troubleshooting as well. In this particular question, which DELSI and IP are we using? We're always using the local DELSI and we're always using the remote IP address when mapping to a remote destination. We're always going to use the local DELSI and the remote IP. Now in this particular question, we'll look at iOS help and I'll give you a little extra material here. Which of these frame map command values are optional? Well, we know that we've got a legal command at what point? And I'll use iOS help just a little bit here for IP. We know that when we use iOS help and we see a CR here at the bottom of this list, that what we have is a legal command because it stands for carriage return. It just means if you hit enter, the router will accept it. But if you don't see it, that means your command is not yet complete. So if I try to end this command at frame map IP, the router will actually tell me, hey, this is a, an incomplete command. So I've got to put an address here. So the address is required and if I try to end the command here it'll still say incomplete command because we don't see a CR yet. So the del C is required as well. And then finally we do see the CR. 
So while all of these options are important, you don't need to know all of them for the NA, but you better know that broadcast option and what it does. While these options may be very important to what we're doing on our network, they are not required. So if I just enter that command frame map IP and then follow it with the remote IP address and the local DELSI, that is a legal command. So the answer here would be the optional ones are broadcast and any kind of header compression. And then finally that DE bit, the DE stands for discard eligible and it indicates a frame that should be dropped in case congestion has reached the point to where some frames are going to have to be dropped. You're basically saying that frames with the DE bit set are not as important as frames that don't have the DE bit set. And the possible values of that variable, 1 and 0. It's either going to be set or it's not just like any bit. Thanks for taking five minutes out of your day to take this five minute practice exam. And please do check out my YouTube channel. If you're not already there, make sure to subscribe and you'll get first notification of the latest videos, including these daily five-minute practice exams and a lot more great stuff coming to the Bryant Advantage and our affiliated websites very soon. So thanks again for taking time to watch this video, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.